Boy, that is a loud alarm. Hey, kid! Quit your bizarre dreaming and get back to the waking world! An unknown enemy is attacking the ship! Apparently not a very good alarm. Didn't you hear me? I said get moving, you lazy punk! Hurry blinks awake. Rumble. Smack lips. Ugh. What in the name of your alleged goddess do you want, old man? It's impolite to disturb a man when he's trying to sleep. And I'll also have you know that I am quite well grounded into reality, not being from this planet, thank you. I suggest you take that back. Look, kids, someone has cast a spell that's causing me, Rosalina, to go up in flames, and no one on the deck... Uh, no one on deck can find the culprit. This is bad. Now, are you gonna get your butt moving and help us out up here, or what? Ah, I should have known someone would try to make it difficult for us to just get across the mid-ocean. We couldn't even leave a village without someone trying to kill us. What the heck is wrong with this world, anyway? All right, I'm going. Not without me, you aren't. This time, I'll be fighting with ye. Fine. Just don't break any bones, old man. William narrows his eyes. I'll make you eat those words once we're through dealing with the scumbags who are attacking us. I don't know why, but my nose is really itchy right now. Like, bothering the heck out of me right now. So, Admiral William has joined the party. Cool. What do I want to do in this situation? What sort of equipment do you have? Isky Helm, Broadsword, Rabbit's Foot... Nothing particular of interest, I don't think. I could give you one of these weapons, the bra... Wait, never mind. No, I can't. I was about to say I could give you the gun, but we already gave that to Lynn or somebody? No, wait. No? Hold on. Yeah, I think I did give that to Lynn. I think. Yeah, I did. If I had a chance, I would have given the gun to William. However, if I recall, if I did that, I would not get it back also. So, just as well that I can't. Definitely not giving you this. You can just settle for the equipment you have. And in fact, give me this rabbit's foot. Opportunity to save. <sighs> this itch is really making me twitch my whiskers. Yep, this is on fire, alright. Oh, Mr. Uri! You have awoken just in time. We're glad to have your assistance. Uh huh. We're so grateful that you've chosen to drag yourself out of bed to join us for this. You're much too kind to say it like that, Miss Paprika. To extend gratitude towards this idiot as though he is not at all ob obligated to help us fight this battle, rather than scolding him for having taken this long to assume the responsibility that he should already have done at a time like this. Yeah, sorry about having overslept, everyone. I wouldn't have missed this for the world, actually. You sound as though you might actually enjoy whatever is about to happen. You seem different from the way you were at the very beginning of this adventure, man. Almost as if you have no doubt in your mind this time about putting your life on the line by fighting for the sake of other Avenians. That's quite a change that has come over you. Priyan must be exerting her magical influence over you even more strongly than I had hoped she would be able to. That's right! The soulless Emzu goddess of love never fails to melt the ice around even the most rigid of hearts. Really, 
In that case, could you go meet up with the bad guy for us? That would be really helpful. Hehe, <laughs> how sweet of you to notice such a precious virtue regarding a heavenly beating being like me, Dusk. Hey, just what is that supposed to mean, Prien? Please, silence everyone! Aye, what troubles ye, gentle soul, Paprika? Do you sense the presence of the scurvy-ridden sea serpent that attacks the Rosalina? Yes, sir. Everyone be on their guard. I think the enemy is about to make his next move. I can sense him coming closer to the ship. He's here! Off the port side! Ha <laughs> That voice! Grandis! Ah, goody. Wah! It's a big scary monster! Help! Yeah, that is kind of the appropriate reaction to seeing a floating evil clown. Paprika is not as brave or composed as one might think when she comes to face comes face to face with evil such as that murderous human, despite the authoritative voice she was using just seconds earlier. She cannot help but show her fear before Grandis Marwyn, and with good reason. We would do well not to underestimate such a dangerous man ourselves. Prian, Ares, we must lend our strength to our servants and fight with it as one if we are to win this. No problem there, Charmies. We've been dying to claim payback for what this guy tried to do to us back in Magnolia. I've been waiting a long time for a rematch, Uri Isley. So, did the deeds of wanton destruction that I performed back in the Elven City get you three brats hot-blooded enough to make this battle lively for me? It's no fun if my opponents aren't made angry enough to the point that they want to kill me. Why, you... So you slaughtered innocent creatures right there on Serpanaka's doorstep simply in the hopes that we'd become enraged enough by such barbarism to want to fight you again as you desired? This is unforgivable. How could anyone be capable of this? Grandis is laughing. Yes, get angry. Let's see what you're capable of when lost in such an uncontrollable state of rage, kid. Don't lose it now, Dusk. That's just what that monster wants you to do. Please, calm yourself. Come, come. What is there to hesitate for? Ah, I know. Perhaps if I do this? Um, uh-oh. Wah! Get away from me, you icky monster! The three of you? Now, pick up your swords and fight me, or I'll pluck the wings from this little girl one by one. Lynn is feigning nonchalance over Paprika. Say, why don't you let the little girl go and face us like a man, eh? Aye, belay that order, lad. I'll be more than happy to scrape the gums of this typhoid-ridden monster as he so wishes if he dares lay a hand on me, dear Paprika. You want a piece of me too, old man? Ha! But fighting four on one instead of three on one will only make this even more interesting. But first... Let's just see if you're at least good enough to take on my inferior servants. Dragoons, entertain our friends for a while, would you? Okay, um... This will be difficult. We got four Dragoons. No weakness. 185 HP. That's not terrible. I could totally do this. What we got here? Psych up. Do one of those. Uh, lightning or... Eh, uh, lightning. 
Go ahead and mix it up a little. William, what you got? You got Glide Hook, 12 HP for 50 damage. Cool! And that's as much as I'm gonna raise Uri's attack. Oh, they got Psych Up as well. So, focus on the first guy for certain. Oh, no more Psych Ups. Do a regular attack. I did not swap Uri to his weapon that attacks everybody. He still has the double attacking weapon. I don't think I necessarily need to worry too much about that, though. You go ahead and hit that guy. Because I think the first one's just about had it. Yep. You know, these guys are actually not that difficult. Though I will go ahead and shift focus to this guy, perhaps, since he is causing a bit of damage. And go ahead and start using Cyclone. Ooh! Nice when it's a crit. Hopefully this will not be overkill. I mean, definitely kill him. I just hope he didn't have like 1 HP left. That would have definitely been a waste. Hopefully this counts as a boss fight, by the way. And I get my health and stuff restored after the fight is over. Especially in William's case. Ha! Huh. That was nothing! I certainly hope that you can do better than those flunkies of yours, whose lives you did not seem to mind sacrificing so thoughtlessly as you just now did, Grandis, else that cliched, hostage-taking act that you just now pulled on me, Paprika, makes you even more of a laughable coward than I already think you to be. Grandis nonchalantly says, Hmm. Fine. It's my turn now! Die, Elvenian scum! Ah, crap. Nope. Did not get healed after that fight. And... Grandis has brought friends. And I'm gonna let you know right now, this is gonna be the toughest fight in the game so far. By far. Okay, so... I should go ahead and start this fight here. We got these Dragoons and, of course, Grandis. The priority is going to be on the Dragoons, because they can increase attack power. In which case, let's actually hit the Dragoons really hard. Actually, no. First, hurry. Boost your attack. Let's hope that Dust can get in some healing right off the bat. Not going to have Lin do anything other than regular attack. And same goes for you, William. In fact, double. Oh boy. This is definitely going to be scary. Might have to use a couple healing items along the way. Thank goodness that these guys have not actually done any actual attacks yet. Dusk is definitely going to stay on healing duty. Not going to use any HP consuming spells for the time being. Oh, I am thankful for that miss. Don't know yet how strong Grandis' regular attack is. Let's 
suck up yourself one more time and get healed while you're at it. I'm glad I kept Uri's double-hitting weapon. These buffs are going to be really useful. Shoot! That's an attack boost that is not welcome. Also, d um, Grandis is poisonous. Still. Let's make sure we keep our health primarily topped off. I am actually going to start using antidotes. Because the amount of damage that I will be taking from poison will be annoying. One down. Yeah, that's right. If you're gonna psych up, psych up yourself. Okay, that is why I will typically just ignore poison. But I'm still scared by it in this situation. Ow! Okay! Keep everybody's attack uh, health really high, apparently. In fact, just in case. Because that is scary. I wonder how much MP he has. By the way, in case you're wondering, Grandis has 680 HP. It has a weakness to water. So, not Uri. We'll go with that, then. That'll definitely be helpful. Hey! Didn't poison us! Ooh, um, somebody's going to need... ...to give Dust some more MP. Not at all wanting to take this guy lightly. Okay, our health is pretty high, but I want it to be higher. It was definitely a good idea to buff Uri's attack. I'm getting lucky now. Grandis is not using any strong spells, and he is failing to poison me. Uh, just double touching what I was doing there. Nice! Okay, I am in full control of this fight. RNG is in my favor. RNG is less in my favor. But as hard as I've been hitting him, I think he's almost down. Heal on Lin. And this will be the last turn, I bet. Hopefully. I had a pretty good inkling of how much health he had left. Situations like this, it is definitely useful to use the guide.
It also helps that I had played this game before. I knew to take him very seriously. Wh what? No! It can't be... Go home now, you bad demon. The, their anger at what I had done to those pitiful elves was so great that they were able to break their own limits? But still, how could it have been enough to overcome my power? Yeah, you remember how you decided to come to Earth to try killing these guys so that you wouldn't they wouldn't cause you and your master trouble? Well, this is your fault. Uh, there's only one thing left to do now. Uh oh. Crap. Uh, he's a load bearing boss. Don't you dare. I won't allow you to treat the lives of anyone in this world so shamelessly ever again. Not the Isky Elves, not Paprika, no one! Ares Till None, give guidance to this sword with your heavenly light. May your light shine on bloody impurity! Why is your sword unsheathed? Well, that's a dumb question. Wait! No, Dusk! You haven't fully mastered that attack yet! Put down your sword, now! Dusk is sullenly chanting, Haku, Kintir, Shirak. Dusk's sword is brilliantly shining. Cherry Blossom Spirit Slash! Oh, it's even got a cool name. Ah! A little brat who doesn't even have complete control over his own sword skills have beaten, defeated me yet again? Yes, beaten, defeated you. The very presences of all of you blasted children of Serena on this ship right now, staring at me in my disgrace with those great cow eyes filled with not even hatred, but pity. Frustrates the hell out of me! I'll be back to wipe those pitiful smiles of wistful hope from every last one of your faces forever. Mark my words. Early the next morning. The sun's finally back up in the sky. I think it's a fitting tribute to our having won another victory against Eva last night, don't you? Dusk takes a deep breath and exhales. Quite a splendid dawning. Aye, I think you laddies were everything you've done for me and the crew. With your help, not only did we win against those demons this time around, but the Rosalina is already as good as new. I only regret that she does not have any visible battle scars to show off as proof of her victory in her well-deserved rematch. <laughs> yeah, apparently that Rosewood, wood, whatever it was, is very much fireproof. And I also want to thank you in particular, lad, for what you've done for Paprika. She seems to be feeling a lot better now. So, you're not angry about my almost inadvertently destroyed the entire ship and everyone on it last night? I didn't toss you overboard along with Grandis. Don't push your luck. Feeling better? Did Paprika fall ill from the rigors of the fight yesterday or something? In a matter of speaking, yes. 
So, ahem, what's this I hear about you comf comforting little Miss Paprika, huh, Dusk? Not afraid to put the moves on women much smaller than yourself, eh? Woohoo! Go get him, Tiger! She's a fairy, you moron! Look, I can see Sibyl. Oh, okay. Look, I can see Sibylline Reef from here! The gracious help and devotion of yet four more new friends whom they have encountered on the journey through the otherworldly land of fantasy called Elvenia, Boles, Tessera, Admiral William, and the happy-go-lucky Paprika, have once again seen our heroes through a perilous battle and allowed them to at last reach the shores of the second continent, the much larger and more diverse kingdom of Sibylline Reef. In the minds of Uri, Lynn, and Dusk, this is supposedly where the war to save Elvenia will truly begin. What new friends and enemies will they encounter there? What new trials and adventures await the neophyte holy warriors as they venture across the flowering fields and snowy mountains of Sebuline Reef in search of innocence to protect and evil to banish? As the leader of the band of misfit heroes stands by himself at the mast of the beautiful Rosalina, I'm king of the world! Gazing out as more and more white birds flood the sea air and the northern shoreline of Sibylline Reef grows closer in his line of sight, Uri cannot help but wonder how, even with the support of the hero's selfless new friends and the three women who they now know as their guardian angels, will he be able to keep a calm and resolute head when the burden of war truly begins to weigh heavily upon him as the journey proceeds ever onward? And we have entered Chapter 3, Beyond the Cloudless Noon. By the way, I don't know if it's just me, and you guys probably can't tell if you're just looking at a little window, but I'm looking at a large monitor here, and every time we have these black screens with scrolling text, once it's gone, I am seeing blinds. Not like blind, but like blinds of a window. It looks like the screen has these wavy lines like blinds of a window. It's kind of a weird thing that the text did to my eyes. <laughs> 